We're going to talk briefly here, I mean, just a couple of minutes about a couple of terms that you've seen bandied about here, TACX and RADIUS, and these group, the, the RADIUS group and the TACX group. But first off, we need to clear, off the, clear up the most important thing. How do you actually pronounce and read TACX? Because I see this plus sign, and whenever I see that on the end of something, I pronounce the plus. Um, when you read and say this, when you read it in a study guide, you're almost always going to see it as TACX plus, but when you pronounce it, you're just going to say TACX, because we all got tired of saying TACX plus, I think. So um, you're already thinking, well, that's really strange. Why do we have a plus sign on the end of this when we're not actually saying it? How did it get there? Uh, I do want to use my friends at Wikipedia for this one because they say it better than anybody. And at the top of their TACX Plus page, the first thing you see, it's been suggested this article or section be merged with TACX, X TACX, and TACX Plus. So great, there's another TACX that we didn't even know about, right? Well, you're going to see why you don't see this term very often. But we're very grateful for the acronym because TACX actually stands for Terminal Access Controller Access Control System Plus. Um, and we know what it does, and it helps us, you know, provide separate authentication, authorization, and accounting services. And that's one main reason you're going to use TACX over RADIUS, because RADIUS doesn't quite do that. We'll talk about that back on the whiteboard in just a moment. Uh, TACX is an open, publicly documented protocol, uh, uses TCP, encrypts the entire packet except the header. That's also an important difference between the two. I'll have those on the whiteboard for you in a moment, but this is what I wanted to share from you here. Because TACX was actually developed, the original one, in 1984 by a contractor for the United States Department of Defense. Now, Cisco started supporting it in its products in the late 1980s. And, of course, you know, we can't leave well enough alone, so we have to add our own extensions to the protocol. Perfectly fine. But then the company started calling that x -TACX for extended TACX, get it? They didn't do the EIGRP thing where they put the E in the front of it. e -tac yeah, that wouldn't have worked. But X-TACX, <laughs> I guess, did. Now, in the simple form that Cisco was using before they put in the ex extensions, that was compatible with the original TACX, but X-TACX was not. So the protocol kept evolving, and in 1996 became what Cisco calls TACX Plus. And again, authentication, authorization, and accounting are separate processes in TACX Plus. And I'll only mention that one time in the next couple of minutes. So really, that's about it. Just to mention here that TACX Plus and RADIUS have generally replaced the older protocols. It's to the point where most people just say TACX. And when they say that, they mean TACX Plus. So just an extra real-world note for you there. Now, let's go over these differences right now with TACX and RADIUS. Again, the big advantage, last time I'm going to tell you, it treats each one of those A's, authentication, authorization, and accounting, as totally separate processes. RADIUS doesn't do that. Accounting is a separate process as far as RADIUS goes, but authentication and authorization are kind of tied together. It's hard to work with one without changing values for the other. Uh, TACX Plus, as I mentioned on the, off Wikipedia, also encrypts packets in that client-server communication with the exception of the header. Uh, RADIUS only encrypts the password. TACX Plus is officially Cisco proprietary. RADIUS is an open standard. And as mentioned, TACX runs on TCP, RADIUS on UDP. So again, when you're reading this out loud, just like I did, you say TACX Plus one time, TACX another time. Uh, just remember we're, all, we're always talking about TACX Plus, no matter whether you leave that plus on or not. And out of all this, that'll probably be the thing that gives you <laughs> the most trouble uh, in reading it. It is a little bit jarring. But that is really it as far as the similarities and differences between uh, TACX and RADIUS, or actually the differences. And let's move on to the next bit.